Hi everyone, this is Rats of Fox. I'm actually a fox this time, Mom. Um, it's a temporary thing, but until I could come up with a uh, get a better avatar set up, um. So we're gonna play a very creepy disturbing game. Mental health warning too. It might cause a trigger, uh, if you play this game, so you might want to avoid it avoid this if you have problems uh mentally um other than that um this is a, gonna be a one shot deal because this game is extremely hard to play now why is it hard to play well there's a um coin mechanic that decides your fate heads you survive tails you receive like a very horrible punishment <laughs> okay um let me show you for example um now we get two from a thief a knight lady uh necromancer and a barbarian since the bar the mercenary uh oh thief um it's also called a mercenary, but you know, whatever. Mm. Hey, Neiman Calders. Well. I want to be funny, but I can't think of any funny names. <laughs> oh god, I'm a terrible YouTuber. We all we all know how to make. Oh, they all know <laughs> how to make up funny names and shit for the characters. Yeah. Oh, Marty, can it skilled? Oh, that music. This game is quite difficult because this is extremely high mode. This is super, super extremely hard mode. You're insane if you want to play this hard mode. Let's get started. Um. You were born with the soul of the endless that makes you yearn for freedom and forces you to push your creativity to the limits. Put your creativity test in the most hardest of environments you were born and soon abandoned in the capital of the eastern secondary of Tetari. Did I pronounce that right? Oh. If I didn't, um, not the smartest little fox here. <laughs> but I'm the cutest. You have to choose at a very young age to either become a pickpocket, a burger, or try to struggle and lead an honest life. I've always been the guy who would try to be an honest person. You struggle through your early life. These decisions will affect... Remember folks, the, this decision will affect who your character is and what type of skills they start off with. You struggle through your early life but manage to get by as a merchant of sorts. Your skill of haggling and speech improved 
over the years and you also manage to gather some saving you get dirty silver coins now there isn't much in this game you find some of them it's real though um, to come across them and you could get a lot of good stuff sometimes how about the endless soul yearn for more you kind of just become a family man, grow fat, and make a living as a male merchant. You were disdain for more. As you grew older, you took part in visually mercenary armies and learned the dirtiest tricks to stay alive. You were taken in by a notorious veteran highwayman, and you joined his little band of criminals and ex soldiers. During one of your many raids, your brigade got ambushed. The odds were serious against you. You could have just abandoned your comrades and kept your life, or you could have fought till your last breath. Uh, fight till your last breath? Let's go hero. That many fight ambush, but that just meant that the missing rewards got less takers. You were one of the lucky ones. You got dirty silver coins. Ooh. You travel across the land and you raid and eventually settle down in the kingdom of Wandon, where silver was loose as long as you were up for getting your knife dirty. One day you got an ominous tax from the official of the kingdom, you will to be paid well in silver if you get a captain of a fable mercenary army out of Dungeon of Odin. That's the main story, by the way. You, you gotta save somebody. From the Dungeon of Fear and Hunger, the mobile place had been used as a wartime prison by the kingdom and for some reason they need an outside sword like yourself to infiltrate their very own stronghold. Now the guy we rescuing, you gotta rescue him quick. If you don't, he's just not gonna make it. Something is clearly not right about this mission and you have felt nausea since the moment you agreed on the door. But you are so on silver and the reward is all that matter and and so on silver we got like sixty silver on us. Last night in the kingdom, go drinking and get laid at at the bafu. Stock up food for the mission. Stock up healing items for the mission. What's straight for your mission? Now, food in this game, you need that a lot. Um, there's a hun hun survival mechanic where you have to eat food. Um, healing items will heal you guys, but they can't restore limbs. That's right, if an enemy attack is sending part of your body, you're going to lose that part. Uh, what's to eat for your mission? Let's do that. You learn dash. Ooh. Meaning that you can run fast. Now the the good optic behind this game is just everything, everything you can find. Yeah, don't stay in this place too long or dogs will eat you. Cloth hammock will stop bleeding. Cheese is food. Move it. There's two ways to go this way or this way. Let's go this way. Ooh. Okay, 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 doggy. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Damn dog. 
I'm gonna go have healing items off the ground, blue hubs. Good, oh, we, we are off to a good start. First enemy. Look at these guys are pretty easy to defeat. So soon. Salami. This is a this is a good start for this game. We got a bone seals. Ooh. Tobacco. But the problem is, how are you going to save your game? Oh crap. This happens sometimes when you're downhill. Get ambushed by some type of creepier Eldrick horror or something like that. I forgot who it was. Yeah, him. But I think if you get too close to him, um, you get into battle with him. Something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. And we escape. We can avoid counters if we want. It's best to avoid counters um, at times because let's just face it, enemies can kill you. If you know how to cannibalize uh, your enemies, yes, you can eat enemies too in this game if you have the skill. Um, Now, there's a save mechanic in this game, and it's chill. But, there's that 50-50 chance that you end up dead. Too blank. Now, I got lucky here with a save point. But here's a... Uh, Coin toss system, heads or tails? Let's pick tails. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I so I, I could save. But let me show you what happens if I get the system wrong here. Yeah, this creepy guy watched you sleep and then attacks you. This guy is like one of the hottest characters villains in this game. Critical death damage to you, and you die. Lucky for me, I save, but let's try another counter. The female knight. 
call her Ruby because I love that name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every intro is different. You were born with a soul determination that makes people around you bend to you well. You are a natural leader, but you might often end up blind to self-criticism. If your birth sign wasn't enough to ruin a future of greatness, you were also born into a wealthy noble family. At an early age, you were sent into your training to become a holy knight of the kingdom of Wandam. Training to become a squire was a harsh school that spared no one, no matter if you were from a noble origin or not. I practiced spelling match between you and a well-seasoned squire took place at the center training ground. It says that the fighter shows their true colors in their first fight. This applies to you, too. When you saw the sword coming, you way, raise your buckle and defense. Uh, and dance. You want fast dance. As time went on, you proved not out to be a gifted fighter and a valuable asset to the kingdom. However, the kingdom of all not claim to follow the will of the gods in the pursuit for more power. But although we were seen to fall into the lap of elite and nobles sitting comfortably behind the castle walls. Surprise, surprise, Dale. Rich people always get wealthy off of the poor. And the hard workers. Ruthlessly, the kingdom would expand its reason reducing the feeble citadel to ashes and bloodstain, enslaving the poor women folk whilst every man is slain. When you spill a tile or two that it lends in grow. Your devotion was sicken. You were all but ready to retire from the army, but your family insists no. They demand you to stay as a holy knight or else you bring great shame. Big ties with family. Not all family members are great. Some family peop families are toxic and you want to stay away from certain people. Oh, I should take my own advice. At this point, family ties wait no more than strings. Uh, you met at the dirty streets of London. You completely cut ties with your family without hesitation. Just as you were about to flee from the army, things took an unexpected turn for you. You met a captain of a small mercenary army who seemed to share the same ill will towards the kingdom of London as you did. The common folks were starting to gather around the charismatic leader the God, who sells humble origin similar to farmers and villagers alike. There was definitely something otherworldly in his disaster. The God saw potential in you, and with warm words, he almost seduced you to join his band of mercenaries. Thanks to you, rigorous discipline. You took a high position in, in his army in the night of the midnight sun. The army was growing fast in both size and influence. In the western region, the kingdom of London will first use your service to their own benefits, but soon saw you more as a possible threat to their modern region. Something changed with regard as well. It kept more to himself and study ancient textures and an occult. He became obsessed with some relics and artifacts that gave you ominous feelings and terrible nightmares. Things would only spiral towards madness even more when we God decided to raid the northern capital or didn't God. Probably one of a 
no notification the god killed everyone who stood in the way between him and this mysterious ancient relic man dude sociopath and i'm making of an evil supervillain you know that you know it was this small overblow that was enough of an excuse for the kingdom of London to turn common folks against the god despite his imprisonment. Oh, fuck John. The troop of the London army marched towards you, clearly small army. You had to choose which position to take in common encounter. Take your will and manage defense. Spill here the coming assault. Let's do that. You get an iron spill. Ooh, nice. You could also get uh, iron towers and arm um, guards. It's always good because it protects your body from uh, damage. Yeah, night of Midnight Sun lost the fight. Many of you comrades were slain, but you managed to escape the battlefield. The guard was taken as a captive and to be used most likely as a propaganda. Every character in this game is searching for this guy. The knight, the necromancer, the barbarian, and the mercenary. All looking for this uh, Logar guy. Because he started off as a kind man who went a little bit mad. You, you knew you didn't have much time before he would be sentenced to death. So you had to act fast. Even if it seems like a suicide mission, you decide to save the guard from the prison he was held in. Before leaving for your d desperate journey, you decide to stock up on equipment and items. Ooh, I can learn a dash. Oh. We're going straight in because I want to show you some other stuff. This is the fail ship. Four heroes. One of them is a two minute one. This is a. They all ended up becoming the new gods by completing this dozen. So yeah, Compl completing this dozen, getting to the end of this dozen will make you into a god. So, you also have sanity mechanics. You could be driven insane, so you, you could you need to light toasts too and eat regularly. Three eggs. Oh, gross. to attack multiple body parts I remember you can do that to the enemies but oh you could also talk to them too you could talk them out of trying to kill you you could also run away from them if you feel like the fight is too tough but um you could attack all the body parts the torso uh, arms legs in this guy case the stinger will be the first attack if you, if you want to call that a stinger <laughs> um, but it looks like um, yeah it's the leg it kind of looks like that
There's traps in this game. You step on traps, you could end up dying. Can recruit the other four players into your team. You can fulfill sacrificial stuff. You can sacrifice one of your characters you, that join your team. And so love. Ugh. There's a little girl in a cage, same in her. You can sacrifice her to gain power. Or you can feed her to a demon. Oh god. I give her to a creepy guy who torment little children. Yeah, this game is very mess up. <laughs> oh. But if it's up your alley and you like challenging games, play it. I mean, but this game got to me in the past. I got to the point where I couldn't play anyway. It's just very graphic. Another way to save is getting a book that allows you to save your progress. There are other tricks too you can learn. I'm trying to find my way upstairs. <laughs> ah. Each playthrough is a little bit different. There's a, the places are in, locations of stuff is random. So yeah, it's it's almost like a random generated dungeon. You can attack different parts of the enemy bodies, the head. I, I'm trying to figure out how to attack the, the arms and stuff like that, but I don't remember. That's how unforgiving this game is, and I know there's other two more other characters I'm going to show you guys, but I think I'm going to call it crits here. I it, I tried to play this game because I thought it was cool, but it it got underneath my skin. And if you if you like this game, try it. If you don't, then just ignore it. This is Rats the Fox signing off, saying stay positive and stay beautiful. I will do that once I stop playing this game. Bye!